Hey, morning forecaster Dalen Brazelton here to talk to you about an interesting weather anomaly happening this weekend across the United States. It's called an Arctic blast. Here's what it is and how you can prepare for it. So an Arctic blast is when colder than normal air goes further into the United States than typically expected. And that's expected to happen across the continental United States this weekend. This, of course, brings in colder conditions. In this case, it starts on Friday afternoon and goes into Saturday and with those colder temperatures comes potential for snow showers to increase as well. So let's talk about how this affects western Colorado specifically. So today we have a bit of a high pressure system with some cooler temperatures. But as we go into Thursday, that high pressure system is pushing a lot of that colder air away, keeping it dry and warm. We're seeing a little bit warmer temperatures in that case. But as we go into Saturday, that goes away and the colder air from the north comes in. Let me put it in different terms here. So you see this dark purple right here over the Midwest. That is called lake effect air. And lake effect air, if you're from the north, you know, is very, very cold. It's super chilly air and it's usually contained to this area. But as we go into Thursday, you see the high pressure system pushing a lot of that away. But when we get into Saturday, that dark purple air sitting right over Wyoming, Colorado, and the Midwest Plains here. In other words, it's going to be cold and it's going to be super, super chilly here. Now, we may not be seeing as much of an effect as our friends up north but it's still going to be unseasonably cold for this area. So much so, in fact, that temperatures are expected to drop almost 20 degrees in just 48 hours. Our overnight lows are going from 17 degrees down to single digits. That means chilly, folks. And of course, it brings in some potential snow showers. But how can you prepare for an Arctic blast. Well, first things first, you can cover your vehicles, whether it's putting it in a garage or putting a weather cover over it. It's pretty important that you make sure that vehicles stay relatively out of the elements. If you have a room in your house that's maybe a little bit colder than some of the other rooms, like a kitchen or a bathroom, you can drip your faucets so that the pipes don't freeze. It keeps water running through it. If you have any pets that you keep outside, first of all, maybe consider bringing them inside if you can. And second, make sure you're keeping track of their water so that it doesn't freeze outside and they don't have access to that. And little tip for the vehicles here, make sure you are filling them up beforehand, at least over a quarter of a tank, so that not everyone is rushing to the gas stations. And if you need to go somewhere, you have the ability to. And if you do go somewhere, folks, Make sure you drive slow and you are safe. Make sure both windshields are clear and visible and just slow down for your fellow drivers out there in Colorado. We'll get through this Arctic blast together, but in the meantime, it's definitely gonna be cold.